Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. We are jumping in with Robin Hood and the little kiddos in our medieval series. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's videos. Um, uh, to, I, I haven't shared with you guys Thea's story yet, so I'm super excited to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Um, but for right now, we are going to be jumping back in with Rosalind, and we're going to help her on her magical journey. And we are also going to hang out with little John and the kids and Robin Hood and just try to get them by as well. So if you guys are excited for today's episode, please don't forget to hit that like button. And also if you haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe. And I think with all that being said, you guys, let's go play some Sims Medieval. All right. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to be Robin Hood and I want to invite over little John because I am going to add him to our family while Rosalind is away so he we can control him and he can also help us with the kiddly winks. Now today is tax time so I am going to add little John to the family and then we will go pay our taxes. Little Arthur is here on the swing set having a grand old time so that's good. And what a shocker. Oh, here he is. So there. So I've added a little John to the family. Why is he so angry? It doesn't say why he's angry. Is there anyone that we don't get along with? I don't know. So they don't have a lot of income. They don't have a really great source of a great source of income right now so we are gonna have to send them on submissions okay so little John has offered to go pay the taxes on behalf of the hood family because obviously Robin Hood has his hands pretty full right now okay so we are here quickly and conveniently Alistair has met us outside oh he's just gonna fly off alrighty well if we were wondering before, so I guess we can come give our money to Lady Cecilia. So he can come be like, your ladyship. He is so angry and he does not have enough exercise. So we're going to have to get him to do some working out. Okay, so he's here. He's done a friendly introduction. And then we need to give a gift of simoleons. And the highest we can give is 500 which is a lot of money, but that's pretty much all we have right now. Because we're such a big family, we do have to give the highest amount that we possibly can. And I would say that their toddler is ready to age up, so I will age him up in the in-between times. Alright, so we gave all of our money away, so that's great. So we'll send him home. He paid the taxes and now he can go back out back to go see Robin Hood. We are back now. Little John is going to have to tell Robin Hood that first off that he got caught trying to steal, but also that taxes were 500 simoleons and that we only have 248 left. So we're going to have to do a job pretty quick. I tried, but I got caught as usual. So I think we're going to have to go do some stealing here pretty soon. And Robin Hood's like, okay. So also, um, Little John is also a musician. So I feel like he could play at a pub and maybe play for tips. So I think that's what we'll do is Little John. So, so we can play for tips. So Robin Hood's telling him, can you please scope out the area, find a place that we can steal from, preferably from people who are obviously not great people. And we can go from there. Um... Let's get little John to try to calm down first. Robin Hood needs to give um, everyone a bath, but let's start with Goldie. There, so the older boys are helping dad out. This one is making a mess. Oh boy, this house is a mess. So many boys. So little John is going to travel the area and he's going to scope out places to steal from. So I guess right here, here is a house. It's a big house and I'm pretty sure that this is where like a vampire um, den is. So we've arrived at the vampire castle. Oh, perfect. 
So there is a witch. There is Bella. Oh, they're all burning. Okay, well, let's go inside. I don't want them dying already. Which one's the front door here? Okay, knock on door. Let's go inside. Oh, wow, the house is so empty. I feel like this wasn't empty when I downloaded it. Maybe it was. Maybe it's because vampires don't need anything. Yeah, because there was all these kind of like... Like a whole bunch of like caskets and stuff down here. Oh, that's too bad. This was a really cool build. I wonder what went wrong. Oh, so little John is here. And while he is inspecting the vampire den, he actually has met this beautiful girl, Sheila Michaels. And she is so beautiful. She was... Oh, look, he's playing music for them. Well, hopefully they'll give us some money. So she is the servant of the vampire queen who lives here. We also have Bella Goth, who is Lady Belladonna. Um, she also should probably go inside. We have... We also have Dame Gothel, and we have Rapunzel. And we also have over here little Matilda. So just a little bit of fun references there for you guys. Um, like I said, these sims I did not make. These were created by you guys and you all did such an amazing job. So it would be really nice to steal from these ladies, but they actually don't have anything right now. So even though he has met a beautiful girl who he may or may not have his sights on, um, he's not making anything from these people. So I'm just going to have him be really nice because, I mean, it's a little bit dangerous to just walk into a vampire den. So, you know, he's just going to tell them that, you know, we're a poor family that lives down the road and uh, we just wanted to meet our neighbors, <laughs> you know. Rosalind and Robin Hood have tried to keep that a little bit on the DL because obviously they don't want the king and queen to find out where they're living. Um, here's the king and queen's castle. So do I not have any other houses here? So, okay, we've got these guys. We are not going to steal from our ogre friends. There's us. Okay, so I have a feeling little John is going to have to travel um, off the main island that they live on into more of the center of the world to find a home to steal from. Okay, so he's just been walking around the Windenburg neighborhood. There's lots of homes here, so surely... Oh, I didn't know there was an ice rink here. Who are you? Ooh, I want that watch. That's kind of... I can't steal your watch, though. Anyway, so he's been walking through. If you guys remember, this is the bakery where Thea used to work. It is owned by Fryer. This little toddler should not be inside, but he's just going to knock on all the doors and meet a bunch of the people in the area to see if there's anything we can find. Oh my gosh, why are you outside naked? Where is your father? So again, this is another sim you guys created. We have Benedict Cauldron and we also have little Maria Cauldron. It's kind of bad that she's just out there. So maybe we should go be nice to her and bring her inside because she looks... Oh, he's finally dealing with her. This is good. Okay, what can we steal? What well, looks like a lot worth a lot of money. Oh, let's attempt to swipe that. I bet you that's worth a lot of money, but... No, don't go down there. Come back up. Oh, he's gonna get caught. Oh, good. Okay, so he successfully swiped an object without drawing any attention. How much money was that worth? Must be in our inventory. Okay. Alright, so there's a few things we could definitely steal from this house. They look like a really nice family, though, so I kind of feel bad doing that but we'll see what happens we're gonna go to the next door neighbors because it's a huge house so we'll see if there's anything we can steal from there okay so this is actually where a really nice family lives but look at their big huge house it's funny because it looks so cool but then oh there's been a fire inside okay well they'll all be distracted Oh, we have to wait till the fire's out? Okay, we'll get little John to come extinguish it for them. 
because he's so cool. How much longer? 31 minutes. Okay, we just have to wait this out. And then we can steal again. But we have to make sure we don't get caught. So I don't know what we can steal. Okay, so it looks like this lamp is the only thing we can steal. Okay, good. So we successfully stole a lamp. All right, so he got two things. It's time for us to go home. He definitely found a few places where they can steal from. Like I said, they don't really like to steal from good people. Um, but with Rosalind gone, they really aren't great at taking care of the garden. So their income's gonna drop significantly. And it's winter, they have a lot of kids to feed. So between swiping here and there and maybe performing at the pubs, Little John might be able to help make some income. But that's pretty much all these guys know how to do. So it makes it really difficult. Like Robin Hood can't just go out and get a job, you know? So what do we have? We stole this, which is worth 230. We'll take it. And we stole this lamp, which is 135. Is there anything else in here that Robin Hood stole in the past? I don't think so. Okay, so we stole two items. So they made a little bit of money. Why are you embarrassed? Awkward comment. Okay, so everyone seems to be really struggling. I'm gonna send these kids to sleep. So let's get little John to maybe, I'd like him to serve some dinner so there's enough food in the house. I remember when I was a kid, if my dad was like taking care of us, it would always be like hot dog and like a can hot dogs and like a can of beans. <laughs> so I feel like that's something that's super realistic for like what the guys would be cooking. So make Franks and beans. Oh, I guess he's gonna have to repair that. He's gonna die. We'll get um. We'll get Robin Hood to go repair the oven. Okay, so I moved things around a little bit and I put this one inside. It looks like it's sticking out, but when you open up the roof, it looks like just like a little chimney. So I think it's still, oh, I just realized I never fixed the roof for when I extended the bathroom. So now we have a stove inside. We have a proper place where Robin Hood can cook. And I've just put the, the table, not the navel, the table in the middle of the house there. So hopefully everyone will be able to come eat. I think Robin Hood is really missing Rosalind right now, but he's trying his best just to keep his family together. So I think that they're doing okay. They've made a little bit of extra money and then they spent it so at least they can have food. They've paid the taxes for the week. At least we don't have to worry about the king and queen sending their men to destroy the family while they're gone. So I think we're gonna leave them to do their thing and we're gonna go catch up with Rosalind and see how she's doing. So let's head over to the realm of magic. Okay, so we are at the realm of magic. Um, Roslyn has been here for, it was since fall, so she's been here for about a month now. And she wants to level up in her uh, spellcaster perks. So basically, there's a few different routes we could go. We could go down the spells, potions, and then I think this one's for like dueling. So I want to just do one thing at a time. So I think we would start with practical magic. So what we're going to do with Rosalind today is we're just going to help her. Um, we're going to help her get a little bit ahead when it comes to um, studying. So I'm going to have her come up here and she's going to search for some tombs. And who is this? Oh, Sage of Untamed Magic. That's really interesting. The girls are here and they are all hanging out. And Celie and Celie and Kaith are not going to leave um, Rosalind until she is ready to go. So I'm hoping we can level her up enough where she can at least maybe get her, her broom and maybe be able to like fly and because like the glimmer stone so she should be able to go from realm to realm so I think once she learns how to um, use her basic powers we will be able to go back and forth between home and the magic realm so she doesn't have to be gone too long so I'm hoping we can just level her up a little bit today to the point where she can head back home okay so Rosalind has found one of the tombs so I'm gonna let her keep that and then I wanted her to go Who's this? 
I have no clue. I need to find the sages. Oh, Ayaka's back. So Ayaka didn't, um, okay, so we need to get to know her better. That way she'll teach us magic. Um, so Ayaka must have replaced Morgangs. Remember, she was really upset with him that Alistair had been doing the things that he had been doing. Um, so she must have decided that it wasn't uh, a good fit for Morgan to be here. And she's replaced the sages of all the different magics. So I'm just getting um, Rosalind to know Ayaka a little bit better. That way she will be she'll feel comfortable enough to teach us some practical magic. Okay, so they're considered friends now. Okay, so they're close enough now. So I'm going to have her ask magic. Um, let's see. Ask to teach practical magic. So she's asking her if she'll teach her some magic. Now that they're considered friends, I think they should be able to practice. Oh, good. So she has discovered a new spell. So we've learned Scrubberoo. And there was also on here, ask to teach us a potion. So we should be able to get two from her. Okay, so we've gotten the potion of good fortune, which is really good. We need that because um, Alistair's main thing is putting curses on us to make sure that we fail. So we'll be able to combat him with that. Now I'm going to have her introduce herself to the other sages here. That way we are starting to know them. She won't teach us anything because we are still new. Um, but I am going to do a magic duel and we're going to duel for, we'll do a friendly duel. Just because she needs to learn. So the practical magic sage is like, okay, I'm going to teach you in a safe place how to duel. You know, just the basics. So the two of them are probably going to go to the duel grounds, but I'm not really sure if they'll just duel here or not. Yep, they're just going to do it right here. So this is going to be her first duel. She's still learning. Um, this is purely just for a friendly duel to learn. She doesn't even have a magic wand yet, so she doesn't even have a source to, like, direct her powers and to even learn how to really use them. But maybe she's a natural talent. Seems like she's doing fairly good compared to the, the fact that she's up against a sage. Um, and for her first duel, I would say she's doing okay. She's obviously not winning, but... Oof. And she's done. But she's probably gained... Yeah, see, she's gained magic experience because of that. So, you know, Celie and Kaith are going to take her over to Caster's Alley. That way um, she can get some of the items that she needs and then they should all be able to fly home together. And that's very exciting. Okay, so Celie and Rosalind are over here. Now, Rosalind needs, what's this place again? By Wand's Tombs. Okay, I'm familiar. So she's going to come over here and get a wand. That way she can start practicing her magic at home. So I, a natural wand. I feel like she would just have like a basic wood one. Um, this money's not ours, so I'm not going to go crazy. I think she would only be able to get the wand, the cheapest wand. And then, what's this place? Buy some brooms. We need to buy one broom. Um, magic mop. I feel like that's what she would be able to afford is the magic mop, but that's not really time appropriate. So I guess we'll get her this wood broom. And then I think over here, this is ingredients. Yeah. Okay. So we'll just leave it as that for now. Okay. And I think that's it. So she's gotten the basics. She's started her training. She's gotten to know the Sage of Practical Magic, which is the primary important one right now. So I think it's safe to say that these three can all finally go home. 
So, what happens if I click on her broom? Can I... Okay, this is always use brooms, and... Always use wands. There we go. So, we are all going to go home. So, I think if we... She can use her broom now to fly home. So, there she gets on her broom. Oh, <laughs> she's not very good at it, but she's trying. So, I'm going to go put everyone back in their respected homes. And Rosalind is on her journey home as we speak. I will catch back up with you guys there. Okay, you guys. So, Rosalind has finally made it home. Everyone is out here to meet her, but there is a blizzard. So, we should all go inside together. So, I think Rosalind is going to hug all of her kids. Give them big hugs because I'm sure she missed all of them all so much. And I'm sure they're really happy to have her home even though, uh, even though little John was a huge help. I'm sure everyone is so happy that mom is home. So she's just going around giving everyone a hug. And there's some food here so she can grab a serving of franks and beans. She said hello to her children. Where's Robin Hood? Oh, he went to sleep. <laughs> He's like, oh, thank God you're home. I'm going to bed. So she's here visiting with her kids. She's like, I'm so glad you guys waited up for me, but it's getting a little late. So I think she's going to send everyone to bed. Look, they're all so energized because mom's home. They're like, this is the best day of my life. Okay, so I'm going to send all the kids back to sleep because it's time for bed and then mom and dad can have some alone time because not only does she need to read okay everyone's asleep so let's get dad to wake up because even though she has a lot of magic to learn Rosalind also needs to get pregnant with their fifth and final child so we can prepare for the next generation Okay, so these two are going to be, they're very happy that she's home. Robin Hood missed her. The kids are sleeping, so they can go have a little bit of private time while all the kids are in their room. And they are going to try for baby at number five, the fifth and final. And if you guys remember, we all decided that if they did not have a girl naturally, which I can't actually tell right now because I don't have MC Command Center, <laughs> um, we were going to make sure it's a girl. So fingers crossed it's a girl, but we actually have no clue. So Rosalind and Robin Hood are reunited. They lasted the few months apart. Robin Hood did a good job. None of the kids died. Um, I have no clue if Rosalind's pregnant. Again, like I said, we can't take pregnancy tests and I don't have access to any mods right now. So hopefully the modder community will have updated MC Command Center by the time we film the next episode. That way we'll be able to control the outcome of what um, sex of child they have uh, because I think we all agree we would like to see a little baby girl from these two. And other than that, you guys, I think that's it. So I'm going to leave this part here. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below any baby names that you guys are interested in. I'm hoping it's a girl. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a girl. So give me some awesome girl names, please. And I think that's everything, you guys. So until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.